Okay, so it's the following morning, and I make my way on down to the ship curve. As I said from the previous video, it was only about 20 miles away. Yeah, I see the way that some people are set up in here. Let's get around this side. This is actually my first time to this particular location, so I was just kind of getting a feel for the place. I'm going to check the map really quick. I'm going to get on the Google's map. See if I walk up or if I park here or uh, just drive up. me in this door. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's gonna make me have to do a loop to loop. One of the things that I should point out is during this whole time, uh, I was set to sleep a birth. 
this allows me to do a split sleeper. Uh, the whole time I believe I was down for about three hours. And in the US we are allowed to do a 3-7 uh, split. Now part of it was incidental. Uh, as I pointed out, my temperatures were off. My Qualcomm had read one thing and the company wanted another. So we had to wait for the trailer to cool down a little bit more and make sure the temperatures match. And they put the seal on and off I go. And now I sense another music montage com coming in.
Now, no matter how thorough I am with checking every single room when I'm getting ready to leave, I always seem to forget something. In this case, it was a couple bags of groceries that I left in my personal vehicle. So I had asked my dad if he would grab those and bring them back down to me and I would stop back in Nampa, Idaho and I would buy him dinner. We decided on Nampa uh, instead of going to Boise for TA because at this point it's about 5 p.m. You might be thinking, you know, that's that might be a little weird for uh, going from Topanish to here because it's only about 180 miles or so, uh, but there was a time zone change. So instead of being four, it actually ended up being about five. I decided to cut out part of this. Uh, I had actually done a loop around the entire parking lot and had come around on the back side of that pride. Ended up waiting for like five <coughs> minutes. I was like, well, that's just a waste of footage. But I had ended up uh, choosing this spot back here that I glance at. Overall, I think I was here for about an hour and a half. Uh, not really because I wanted to hang out. I mean, it was great and all, but it was really because the service in Denny's was really, really slow. Unfortunately, at this point of night, uh, you really can't do a second montage because all you are going to be looking at is just darkness. Also to note, the aisle in this particular truck stop is just a little bit smaller than normal. I was trying to swing out wide enough so that my trailer wouldn't hit my neighbors. And I end up having to do a little bit of backup to get out. From this point, it's just a uh, straight shoot to see how far out I, I can get. At this point in the morning, I am completely tired. Uh, I didn't actually mean to drive this far. I was planning on stopping a whole lot sooner, but I just kept on going. Uh, I'm actually down to like my last 10 minutes of my clock at this point. And I am dead tired. Because as I, as I noted, it was like 3 a.m. In, in the morning. Overall, I ended up doing 657 miles. Not my best uh, distance, but you know, part of that was because uh, Washington is 60 miles per hour for trucks.
main downside about coming to a truck stop at three o'clock in the morning is chances are you, you aren't going to find any kind of parking. But my clock is almost out at this point. I have no choice. I am stopping here one way or another. Turn left on West Forest Street. That's a nice paint job there. You know, I'm just going to speed this part up here because I just end up doing a loop and coming back to that spot that I was looking at earlier. You can tell I'm getting tired at this point. I'm having a argument with my nav system there. Let's take a quick look at this. Try to figure out what this is. Well, it looks like parking. Take that spot.
60 minute warning. Well, I'm just out of all kinds of time. Alright, let's get out, take a look around this thing and see what exactly I just parked into. I just want to make sure it's not something I'm not supposed to be doing. If I absolutely positively have to, I could probably move and park next to him. And those guys over there would still have room to pull out. I don't like doing stuff like that. But when you don't have any time left or any option. I like the price of fuel here. Solid? No. Looks like a work zone back here. We got an onion. Yeah, there wouldn't be enough room for two of us. Step on the trash. I would not pin it past somebody to try to park here, though. finish up a PTI I need to get a bolt for my license plate I'm gonna finish this up on my own and I'm going straight to bed I've been up way too long pushed a little too hard but I had to do what I did so I could make tomorrow's run easier Y'all have a good night, and I'll see you later. So as I said, uh, I did about 657 miles on this uh, trip, uh, which leaves me with about, I believe it was about 585. And the reason why I pushed it so hard today was because I had been checking the weather reports, and... Wyoming was showing signs of being shut down which was explained in a video I did a couple weeks ago uh, and what I wanted to do was make sure that if I had to slow down in bad weather or something like that that I would still have time to get all the way to to Denver because at this point the load is due uh, tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. In any case, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys in part 3 next week.